All right, I started recording now. <laughs> All right, what's up, YouTube? Axel here with more news. This time we have uh, Nikita's Twitter to begin the whole story. Nikita tweeted, it goes beyond all limits. What should I do with him? And he references logical uh, solutions where he, I guess he posted in, in, in his Discord. If there is somebody that has ETS access and wants to stay anonymous and contribute, contribute to our efforts, DM me. I just want to find out if ETS is really on Unity 2021. To the red in here reporting this to be to BSG, middle finger. Wait, can you even see it? Oh, I disabled it, sorry. Uh, but yeah, that's his message uh, that he posted in his Discord. And Nikita got pissed when he sent it, because, uh, well, I, I understand Nikita that Logical Solutions is trying to make people break the NDAs, because if you play on ETS, you have to sign an NDA that states that you cannot share any of the information. And Nikita is quite pissed about this. So, a um, few hours later, after the statement, BSG released a big, big official statement on their Twitter, and I guess they're gonna release it on other resources as well. There is a lot of stuff to read. I'm not gonna read all of it. I'm gonna just jump to the conclusion to save you time. And uh, BSG say that we will continue to work in the direction of transparency and share the information about the changes and updates with the amount of the information we believe will be enough for players to stay up to date with the recent flow of entertainment. So in other words, <laughs> in other words, all the different changes regarding the ammo, maybe the recoil, maybe the boss's spawn chance, if BSG think that's, that that information should be shared, they should share it. And uh, that's what I'll be happy with. I think in the in the past we will we were not getting enough information regarding the changes, and uh, data mining was the way to I guess show us the changes. Even though it breaks TOS, data mining does break TOS. It is not something people can do well legally based on TOS. And yeah, from the time of this statement being published, we will start taking action towards all the personalities sharing the data mine information. This will result in all the in-game accounts involved in data mining and or sharing data originating from data mining being banned and platforms getting involved, receiving warnings and further actions taken afterwards. So I personally think that means that if you data mine something using your account in Tarkov, your account will get banned. If you share data mine information on Discord, you will get banned from Tarkov Discord. If you share that on Twitter, BSG might try to get rid of this information. If you share data mine information on YouTube, they might strike your video, like they might take it down. I think that's what it means. That's not uh, confirmed. Uh, so yeah. I guess this is more or less Boom. it. Those are all the news. Wow. Wow, yes. We're having a heated discussion on my Twitch channel, so if you want to share your thoughts about this, feel free to do it on my Twitch channel or do it in the comments down below under the video. And yeah, those are all the news. There isn't much else I want to share, so I'm going to save you, save you your time. And thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Take care.